What's up, nail friends? Yesterday, I posted a nail, bitten nail transformation. This video will probably go up way later, but this is my other hand. So this is the hand I didn't film yet. So I thought I would come on and do another bitten nail transformation, but this is my non-dominant hand. So this would be a lot easier to do nails on. So this is what they look like before. Get a good look at how short those are <laughs> before. And then this is what we're gonna do. So if you guys are interested in that, just keep watching. I'm not stressed out or anything if you guys are wondering, I'm fine. I just bite my nails if they've been off for too long and I was doing my nails consistently for YouTube. Uh, I was doing a bunch of cool designs, but then I took my nails off and left it for just like one week too long. So if you do that you and you're a nail biter, you know, like you're gonna bite them. Like I can't help it. It's just, I just can't help it. So now I need to put nails on and grow these back so I can film some more uh, tutorials for YouTube. So what I'm using here is my Luminary Nail Systems cuticle tool. I really like this cuticle pusher because it's kind of like rounded here. So you can get in, uh, under and kind of pull the cuticle skin up here. Just makes it a little easier. And then you wanna use this back end here. It's like a little scraper. And you're just gonna to wanna to scrape the cuticle up. I'm doing this really gently and carefully. You're not gonna to wanna to put a lot of pressure in. You don't wanna create like scratches or ridges. Just carefully scrape that cuticle skin. It just helps when you file. Okay, so the next tool I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use my e-file. I really like this tool. It's really, really like safe and easy to use. And I get this from Get Buff Nails. I will link um, the Canadian shop and and the, each of these down in my description box. Um, and you're just gonna carefully go along the cuticle area. And you can actually use this to quickly remove some of that shine on the rest of the nail if you want. But I am gonna reverse it like so and go down the other side as well. And this will just help like pull up this piece right here because when you're going the uh, this forward, you can kind of push it down. You don't want that pushed down. So I'm just gonna do that on all the nails and then I will reverse and do the other side. And this doesn't hurt or anything. You really don't wanna like use a lot of pressure. You don't want to create any rings of fire. Just careful and gentle. And my nails aren't sore anymore because they've kind of healed from the biting. So they might appear sore because they're so short, but they're not, they're not sore. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna brush off that dust. Okay, the next bit is this one from Give Off Nails. I like this one because it doesn't have that pointy edge. You could use a flame bit if you wanted to as well, but I'm just gonna use this one because I like how safe it is and gentle. And my nails, since I have been biting, they're probably a little bit more sensitive. So you just wanna be extra careful when you're working on sensitive nails like this. I've been biting and pulling up the skin and stuff, so we just wanna be extra careful. And again, I'm going down one side, getting rid of the cuticle, reversing my e-file and going around the other side. Again, this doesn't hurt, like I can touch my skin with this, you see? This doesn't hurt, light pressure, just removing that cuticle skin that's gonna get in the way and could cause lifting. 
I'm not finished yet, but I'm gonna take a lint-free wipe and cleanse my nails with some alcohol, 99%. And then we will move on to the next bit. So the next bit, you can either use this rounded bit, we sell these on Nail Throne, or this bit, they're very similar. They just kind of smooth the skin out. I'm gonna go with this one for now, just cause again, this one's a little bit, I don't know, just better for sensitive skin, and my skin is sensitive. So you're gonna just go along the, the line of your nail, and it kind of pushes your cuticle skin out of the way, and gets rid of any little like skin bit that sticking up and needs to go almost like a little bit of a buff then I reversed it again I'm gonna go on the other side as well I have it reversed so I'm just gonna do the reverse side first and again this should be really gentle it shouldn't hurt it actually feels kind of like a little massage and then I'm gonna reverse and go around the other side So again, we are going to cleanse. And here's how they look right now. Okay, so I'm gonna cleanse the rest of the hand. And there we go. A little bit cleaner. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my Glitter Ball Square Matte Finish Tips. I used these in my last video. I just really like them. Um, I'll show you why. Uh, look how thin they are. They're very thin, very bendable. Um, they're just really nice and they have a nice C curve, which is great. So I'm gonna glue these on and we'll get started with the design. Okay, so I picked up my sizes and then I'm gonna glue these on. You just basically wanna glue them at the very tip of the nail. Also gonna wanna make sure your little wings of your tip are flat, but you can always file that if it's not perfect. Okay, so here's how they look with the tips applied. So now we can shorten these. I'm not gonna make these long. <laughs> I couldn't imagine having nails this long with them bitten, but I'm gonna shorten these to a good short length, like a very, very short salon length, something I think I can manage with. Cause I am trying to grow these back because I'm like having my longer nails. So, oh, that I cut those pretty good. I normally don't end up cutting them that good. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is just, I'm not really gonna spend a lot of time um, shaping these or anything cause I can do that at the end. Since these are matte tips, you don't really need to file over them and or anything. So I'm just um, kind of blending in where that point is on the corner on all of the nails. And I'm really not going over my natural nail that much because we really don't want to thin out any more of this like bitten mess. And we're gonna pinch these and everything. So if they look a little flared out, they'll be pinched in the end. So we'll make them nice and thin and suit my hands. Just like my last video. If you guys saw my last, didn't see my last video, I will link it in my description box and in the top corner where I did my dominant hand with my non-dominant hand. So again, we're gonna cleanse. All that dust, because dust will interfere with adhesion. Okay, so we are going to use primer and dehydrator. These are from Glitter Bells. So I'm gonna dehydrate first, just on the natural nail. You don't need to go over the tip or anything. And 
And then I'm gonna prime with the acid free primer. You really don't need a lot. I'm just going over the natural nail with that. So I got this cute little glass uh, monomer dish that I'm gonna use today. And I like it because you can kind of rest your brush on it. And I'm gonna be using my Glitter Bells number 10 brush. Look how cute these brushes are. So, yeah, so, and this is kind of like iridescent, so it kind of goes. Um, and then I'm gonna be using my Glitter Bells Hammer Free Monomer. Okay, so what I'm doing for this design is I'm gonna use Glitter Balls Porcelain Powder. Over top of that, I'm gonna use the Shattered Diamond. You can't really see right now, but it's glittery. And on my ring finger and thumb, we're gonna do some butterflies. I thought that'd be cute. I, didn't I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do like a blue or purple butterfly or orange. And then no matter what, I'm gonna be adding some of this loose glitter around the butterfly design. So. I don't know yet if I want to do blue or orange, but whatever I do, I'm going to kind of do the opposite design on my other hand when I need a fill. So if I do blue butterflies with white nails, I'm going to do blue nails with like a white flower or something, just so the two hands are different, but kind of go together. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But let's go in with our porcelain powder first. So the porcelain powder is kind of like an off white, kind of like a white, but not fully bright white, not like snowdrops white. And it has like a teeny tiny blue shimmer in it. It's very pretty. So I'm not adding a clear base because I don't want to bulk up these nails at all. I'm just going right in with that porcelain powder. It's going to be so much easier on this hand. If you guys watched my last video, I struggled so bad with my thumb. So I'm just placing a bead down, pushing up towards the cuticle area not touching the skin, don't overlap the skin, cleaning off my brush so nothing sticks to my brush, and then I'm using the tip of my brush to push the product towards the cuticle area, which will put a thin coat of that at the cuticle area. Now I'm flattening the product, cleaning off my brush, and pulling this down the nail. I need a little bit more on this corner. Didn't quite add enough. Cleaning off my brush, turning my brush, and just pulling that up. I wiped my brush and now I'm just going to pat and dab. So we are going to do the shattered diamond on top and some butterflies. We're just gonna let that dry. So I'm gonna do that on the rest of these nails here. I picked up a bead, I drained my bead so you can see it's not going to fall off my brush. Placing it down, cleaning off my brush, and then using the tip of my brush to push and maneuver that product. There's a tiny fluff, oh no. It's gonna ruin everything. Pushing the product towards the cuticle area and then using the belly of the brush to pat that down. So you can see, if you were to work flat, this could spread into your cuticle area 
But if you bend your finger or your client like this, then gravity will help pull the product downward instead of accidentally having it seep into your cuticle area. So that's what I'm gonna do. A downward angle for application. Picking up a bead, cleaning off my brush, picking up a bead, dabbing the bead to get rid of any excess monomer, placing that down, wiping my brush, and then using the tip of my brush again to maneuver that product where I want it, close into the cuticle area. And then again, using the belly of my brush to pull that product down the tip. Again, I need a little bit more on this corner. Cleaning off my brush on a dry paper towel and pulling the product up the nail. And then patting to even it out. So I'm going to pinch a little bit. Going back to my thumb to pinch. So basically I'm just applying my pinching tool along the free edge which will bring it in to match my nail and kind of create more of a c-curve and give it more strength as well as thin it out a little bit just so it's not so bulky because if you look at this one it looks quite bulky so i'll do a before and after if i can remember show you guys how much better it looks when it's pinched because someone before was saying they don't see a difference so i think i should show you guys a before and after just so you can quickly see this is before pinching and this is after so can you guys see how much thinner they appear like they look more natural, thinner, pulled in. So I hope you guys can kind of see that. So yeah, that's where we're at. So now we can add the glitter. I hope you guys can see how glittery this is. I don't know if you'll be able to. I'm just doing a wash of this over the nails. It's kind of got like a, do you see? Like a blue green glitter tint to it. Ooh, pretty. I hope it shows up well on camera like when I get to the computer because it is so pretty oh my gosh I'm so glad I picked this one so this one's called Shattered Diamond and we sell all glitter bells on my site the nail throw which I will link all the products in my description box with a discount code for you guys wow that's so sparkly so just a small amount of this on the nails I'm applying it the same way with using my tip of my brush on an angle to get close to the cuticle area, but I'm just dragging this down the nail because we don't really want to bulk this nail up because we are going to encapsulate and clear for our apex. And so we don't want to make it too bulky or we'll file off some of that glitter by accident, which we don't want.
so now we have to decide on the butterflies. Blue? I'm going with blue. Okay, so I'm going to be using these cute little tweezers. I got from Glitter Mix Canada. I think that's where I got it. I'll post them down below. Um, yeah, so now I get to pick some butterflies here. So I'm going to peel up the sides of my butterfly. Carefully peel that off. Place that on the nail. And then you can use the back end of this to really push that down. You could do the butterflies on top too, but I feel like encapsulating them. Then I'm gonna do a small butterfly as well. And then for this finger, I love this sheet because they're all so different. And it's kind of actually really hard to decide here. I'm trying to decide between this one, this one. I think this one, I keep looking at it, so. Go for this butterfly. And then a small butterfly as well. I wanted to add a little bit of glitter around the butterflies, so that's what I'm gonna do. This is called Precious. And we're just gonna pick up a little bit of clear acrylic. We're not gonna get the stars, because this has stars in it. We just want the glitter. We're just kinda gonna put it near the butterflies. Just to make it a little bit more magical, you know? Like so. So this is a simple, simple set, but I feel like that's just so pretty. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay, so now we can encapsulate our design. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick up a big bead of that. Oops, I almost encapsulated it in soft white. That would have been bad. <laughs> Glass slippers, that's what we want. I'm gonna pick up a pretty big bead because these nails are super short. So we really don't need to like, spend a lot of time on encapsulation. Again, finger bent down, applying a bead, using the tip of my brush to push the product towards the cuticle area, using my brush to maneuver that product so it doesn't seep into the sidewalls. And I'm just going to pull this down. When I pull it down, I'm kind of just like brushing it down. I'm not really like pulling a lot of the product off. Just adding some product at the corners here. And then patting it in place. I'm gonna do that to the other corner. Just to make sure my corners have product on it. Wiping off the excess, patting into place. And we can file these too, so they don't have to be completely perfect.
So I, so I let those dry. I'm just gonna use this bit. I like these kind of rounded top bits because you can't really cut yourself or your client with them. And I'm just going to use this to debulk all the nails before hand filing. I prefer to debulk with a e-file and then do my shaping with my hand file. You can go under the nail with this as well. Bring up the side walls if you want to. I do that on all the nails. So I'm just going to use my metal file board for shaping. I love the metal file board because it's super, super straight. So you can get really straight lines. So I always like to go under and pull out my sidewall. You don't want it hanging. You want it nice and straight. And then I turn my file. So underneath and then turn. So I'm just going to use my metal file for shaping for the most part. I have other files that I might use in a sec. I'm just going to shape, pull up the sidewall here. Then I'm going to take my glitter balls 180 and these are a little bit more flexible and I'm just going to go over the nail with this and file to shape kind of going around um, this area like and then around this and then filing up again and then going over the whole tip as you can see kind of like this. And just trying to even and smooth this out. And then I'm going to use the same kind of file, the 240 and just smooth out the scratches that are just left with the 180 file. Ouch. And then I'm gonna use a buffing block to also get rid of some of the scratches. You don't wanna buff too much.
And this is how they look. So I'm just gonna dust them off and then we will cleanse. And then we can top coat, which is the best part. You want to get all that dust off around the cuticle area, under the nail, all over the hand. These are so cute and simple and short. I will definitely be able to work well with these. I'm going to go in with my Glitter Balls No Wipe Top Coat because we're going to do these shiny. I am excited for these. I've been thinking about them for a few days of doing like a, a light shimmery white set with some butterflies. So cute. That is so cute. Okay, I'm gonna cure these double time. I like to always cure my top coat for two minutes and then I let it sit for a bit so that I can add cuticle oil and then after I add cuticle oil, I'll wash my hands because I like to get rid of all that shine but still moisturize the skin. So I'll show you guys the finished result in a minute here. Okay, and here is that finished design after top coat has cured. I applied my cuticle oil, washed my hands. What do you guys think? They're nice and salon short length. I'll be able to live with these for a while until my nails grow back and then we can start doing some longer sets again, hopefully. Um, so I'll make sure to show you guys an update if I can remember to. What do you guys think? Please let me know down below what you guys think of this design. And also give me a suggestion to do on my other hand because I kind of want to do something that goes with this but isn't the exact same design because <laughs> I want to film it, right? And that'd be boring, right? Okay, so thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Click the bell next to it to be notified when I post and I will see you in the next one. Bye.